Hi, I just want to bring some good news to the coronavirus. Uh, got a friend, I got a friend and another friend who've written on it today. And I thought I'd uh, read their uh, commentary. I'm just taking this off my uh, chest because apparently it's uh, showing that I'm <laughs> not really looking at what I'm wearing. <laughs> That's on my new T-shirt that I ordered for myself. One of my 200 T-shirts that are available in the link below. You can uh, you can request it. So here's some good news uh, for believers, uh, for people who trust in Jesus. And I'm going to read. I know many of you have already grasped the idea and truth that the Can Canova virus has been on our shores since late last year. Many Americans most likely didn't know they had it and recovered. Lots of you went through a whole dry seal cough thing early this year, colds that lasted for almost a month or longer. The people in Wuhan, China are back at work and into their daily lives. Love that the worst, love um, that the worst is over for them, the epicenter is experiencing restoration. Much to the shin grin of the mainstream media, their narrative will fail and those that echo their sentiment. I went for a walk today outside to encourage people and that's what um, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Someone needs to be encouraged today. And we, this is the climate to encourage people. Uh, I went for a walk today to encourage people. Christian recreation is what I call this. Love to give people prophetic words, heal and prophesy, and let the Lord totally make their day. I do that all the time. It dawned on me today that, that surfers have this right. It's a great day for a ride or a nice, on a nice tasty wave. Downtown was open. People were smiling and in a great mood, as it all should be. Jesus is still in a good mood. Checked with him this morning, although he has something to say to his kids about the spreading of fear when the evil one presents himself on the field of battle. You are loved, blessed, and no matter who says it, millions of people are not going to die from this virus. Ask the Lord now to remove the mainstream media platform from the globe. They are no longer worthy to carry the responsibility of reporting the news. So that was his first post. Um, all I want to add to this post is um, fear will lock you down. Fear, if it grabs hold of you, will really give you a shaking. And, uh, you know, everyone is fearful. And it, it's, uh, it's a time where we've got to believe in, in the prophecies over our life, we've got to believe that, you know, God has spoken about our future. And if he's spoken about our future, well, we're living to tell it. And uh, the world is just going a little bit too crazy at the moment. His second post, I'm going to read that now. Um, uh, Thoughts and prayers. See, many people of the faith get upset with the term and denigrate those who would dare to offer up prayer. Of course, until they ask for thoughts and prayers themselves. When everything else has been tried and the last card to play is thoughts and prayers, they'll welcome it. But the sentiment is a good one. In this way, we listen in practical ways and follow the instructions of the medical community to help flatten the curve, hygiene practices, to be mindful if we aren't hurt by this virus, others could be. As we've heard from the medical professionals giving us the best during this time, what about the people of faith? Is this our best? Is it really, people? Is this how we serve a supernatural God? For many, yes, it is. At least we know where we are in our faith. It's being highlighted by our Father who grieves over our condition. His compassion won't leave us stuck there. This pandemic released by darkness will upgrade many in their intimacy with him. Their ability to move in his power through love will give us a new understanding 
of what it means to be known by our love. We need the practical and supernatural once again to join hands with his. It's not necessary to negotiate with God. Ask him if it's his will to heal, bless, multiply resources, creatively stop for the one. To pray with faith calling on the unseen as if it was bring us here from heaven to earth. He already said yes to that a long time ago. When we do, we're expressing our belief, ex expressing our belief, creating a Nazareth environment where even the Son of God had trouble bringing everything he wanted to bring to that town. I've seen enough of this to last a lifetime. This is from the leadership because they are fearful. If God doesn't answer, what if people get offended and leave? What if people get worse and die when I pray? What if they get well, encouraged, comforted, joyful, blessed with the cup of living water where we need to drink again? And John is compelling people to go out and start praying for people. Creating a culture of heaven on earth is something Jesus prayed for in faith to his Father, on earth as it is in heaven. It's so rarely pursued. It, it's why we don't have a lot of it on the globe right now, only pockets of it. We need to learn how to engage him from our position as sons and daughters and actually join in how he's interceding with his father. Those leaders, pastors, people of joyful faith that are ushering in a kingdom culture, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. He wants to do this with us, not without us. He's already had the choice of none of us and he chooses all of us. We need to create some place in our lives where he can reside and bring us to what he wants to give us. We create a space of entering his rest, worship and gratitude, deep meditation on whatever is pure, lovely, good, etc. We need to be med meditating on the good and the lovely and the good things. When I see people of broken faith, criticizing, tearing down, complaining, murmuring, finding fault, highlighting fear, giving a place for darkness to rest. Well, that's how you create another Nazareth. Many are being called right now to stand in glory with him. It's a great invitation. May you wholeheartedly accept that invitation. So that was John Cluse. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, he's a businessman. He, uh, he uh, can heal. Uh, he's got a great faith. He's prophetic, he moves in a lot of the gifts and he's a wonderful friend of mine. And uh, so I just thought I'd share that as another perspective to all what the news is saying. Another friend of mine who's prophetic, who, who understands the book of Revelation, like hardly anyone I know, who's a lovely guy who's got two wonderful sons. He said this, and then when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother laid and sick with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she arose and ministered unto them. When the even, evening was come, they brought unto him many who were possessed with devils and he cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that were sick that it might be fulfilled what was spoken by, uh, by Aziz, that is Isaiah the prophet saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. I'm a simplistic man and this power pack message, passage of scripture is just enough for me. There's really no need for commentary here. These scriptures mean exactly what is written. So does this one. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. End of story. So my friends want to share with you and I shared this on my Facebook, and you're welcome to uh, send me a friend request, uh, Michael Benjamin Jacobson. My friends want to share with you that this isn't the time for fear. This isn't the time to be putting uh, masks on. This isn't the time to get shut down with fear. This is the time to rise up. This isn't the first virus. This isn't the first strike. We're going to go through like a 20 year tribulation coming on. It's coming on now. And uh, you, you've got to be fit and active and 
fit in your faith and and you've got to know the lord god you've got to know the lord god almighty and you've got to walk with him and the holy spirit it's time for you to encourage someone today it's time for you to go out and start encouraging people and not being bound up with fear and i say this to myself too i I hope that um, this message has blessed you and encouraged you and uh, if you're new to my channel i'd love you to subscribe you can thumbs up this message if you like it god bless